Alright, I'm back, Corey and Investor. Mexican stand up. This for us right here. Let's go. So you say crypto's whack? That's a cap. Tell me how you figure that. There more millionaires today than ever on the map. We on the road creating code. Crypto is about to explode. Get some wallets on the low. The blockchain's a chain of nodes. And this bear market is cold. You make it rain, we make it snow. The crypto game's full of investors. Money like the movie blow. What's up, YouTube? What's up, Odyssey? And whatever other platform this winds up being on with my content. My name is Corey. And uh, today, I just want to talk to you guys about saying, well, I do music. And so, uh, how I started doing music as of recently, it was a little bit of a lot of components. So, first of all, I make music in reference to cryptocurrency at the moment. Um, I was inspired to create this music by a few factors. First, I used to watch a guy uh, called The Oracle pop in every now and again and he talks about crypto trading. And this is when I was just getting to learn what crypto was and how to get in and trying to make some money out of it or whatever. So, started listening to him and uh, he, he was a very enthusiastic guy that got called himself the Oracle. And uh, there were some, you know, members, community members that supported him and did certain things for him. And so there was one individual called Bass Guy. And I think he's from Europe somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. We've spoken once or twice. I've never asked all that information, but he basically created beats and made it like a little pop song for the Oracle. And it was nice. I was like, oh man, it was a nice little beat. It was great music. He set it up nicely. I guess he's, a, he's an engineer and a beat maker. And uh, he made a song called Do the Miley Coco. And that, that joint was nice. I was like, okay, he made some great beats. So uh, I kept him in the back of my mind while I was uh, you know, going through my crypto journey and said, if I ever want to make some music, i definitely use one of his beats, just just thinking about it, not even really putting any real energy and effort into it. And then uh, there was another, as I, again, went through the journey, I uh, used to follow, I still do follow, uh, Craig Grant and Trevon James. And, you know, there's a circle, you know, the Big Connect circle, that was the whole thing. But throughout all that, they were great uh, YouTubers, great streamers, uh, great uh I wouldn't say characters, but great individuals from my perception. Uh, looking at individuals, you know, just human individuals, you know, charismatic, funny, you know, they they were about their business, doing their thing. And um, Craig Graham made some some music, and uh, he had a lot of good songs that I liked. And one day he was just humming in the midst of making like maybe like four or five songs that he made in reference to crypto from this point. And uh, he started harmonizing some words and he was talking, we were all interacting and he was talking about, hey, Corey, da, 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 da. And I was like, okay. He just put my name in the, in the song because I said something or I texted him or whatever. And then maybe, maybe a few months after, he did some videos of him recording in some music that he had produced. And I was like, okay. And him showing the process showed me like, oh man, that's all you gotta really do. So basically what he did was call a sound engineer to you know, have him record the record the, the session. He, he would say his rhyme over it, have the beat sunk up and the engineer would you know mix it and master it and produce it for him. I said, whoa, so what I wind up doing from where I'm at, I said, man, I might make some music. That 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 looks good. And then I got the hex. So hex the cryptocurrency that I got in that I was very enthusiastic about and still am. And uh, there were so many people within hex community that were networking, that were creating content of some sort, that were producing uh, apparel, uh, websites all for free Ana analytical information um commentary it was just a lot of people <clears throat> setting up conferences there were a lot of people contributing to the space trying to grow it trying to you know get people aware of what cryptocurrency was 
and let them know a little bit about Hex. And I did not want to really be an online streamer. You know, I, I got my own privacy thing. I like uh, my privacy. I like that. But for the sake of cryptocurrency and trying to educate people, I thought that was uh, something that should have potential that I could do. And so I said, let me do music because I like music. I said, let me try to make a song about cryptocurrency and Hex because uh, it was doing very well for me at the time and still is holding me down. But um, I said, let me make some music for it. I made some music. First song was called I'm a Hexican. Uh, I made it with um, the founder, Richard Hart of Hex. I had his voice in there, like in the beginning of each uh, verse. Because he was basically talking about what crypto was and trying to narrow it down, summarize it to a degree. And I was just trying to implement it with the songs to try to educate people through the music. Uh, that was my first song. A lot of people liked it. I'm going to, you know, put it back out again. I think I'm going to make a music video for it or uh, remake another video that I have, which is Economical Slang, which is my second video. And uh, a lot of people like that song as well. So, yeah, man, it was really a journey. Really a journey. And uh, it was a fun one. And again, it's something where I'm contributing to the space, I'm doing some work, and uh, trying to help out the community. And uh, yeah, man, right now I'm, after starting those songs and the videos back then, I'm probably like 15 songs in. Uh, I'm making a few songs now that I want to talk about. You know, it's the SEC era now, SEC suing Hex Richard, you know, Richard Hart, the Hex founder. And they're also classifying Hex and Pulse Chain as securities. So um, that happened on the 1st of August. So I think we're going to see what's going on. You know, I'm, again, I'm doing these videos to document the journey. Some of the things I've done, some things I'm doing, and some things I will be doing. And uh, yeah, man, just trying to be accountable and be consistent. See if I can do this for about a year or two, man, to really get this thing jumping. But I think I will, and I will reach a lot of people, and I think it'll be beneficial for everyone involved. So, yeah, man, quick short story about me doing music. I'll have more stories coming up, sure. Um, but uh, for that, and this today, this story today, <laughs> that will be it. So I hope everyone out there has a great day, enjoy themselves, and I will be talking to you soon. All right, guys. Peace. It's Bass God on the track.